already got an HK style 45 caliber look pistol gel ball blaster from the brand Fervin Toys, F-E-R-V-E-N, Fervin Toys. Find them on their website or Amazon. I've got them both linked in the description. Let's check this one out. So again, I've seen maybe one this style. This is a newer style uh, being the HK 45 caliber. Haven't seen it as much. And we've got a couple colorways to show you here. Nice little directions, instructions. Important to soak in the gel balls, guys. Make sure you're soaking them. Four to six hours, plenty of water, big enough container. Strain any water off, then store them in airtight containers that can last up to a couple weeks. Make sure you never store them in the blaster, okay? So let's put this together as we talk about it. So we did talk about the gel balls right here. And guys, I got a lot of videos that show how to soak these properly. So just look at my videos. If you have any problems, questions, make sure you're using the right amount of water, a large enough container, and the right amount of time, okay? It's the number one problem people have. Glasses, make sure you wear some sort of safety glasses. These are the better style. They come with a lot of the blasters, so that's cool. Here's your hopper, so grenade, pineapple style hopper, right? Used to seeing these a lot now. It's a gravity fed blaster. The balls are just gonna fall directly into the barrel from there. Here's your bracket. So your bracket's gonna slide on here. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So you can see your rail here. This is gonna slide on. There's actually an arrow as well. So you're gonna push that until it stops. It's gonna line up perfectly with that hole. Once that bracket's on there, leave it on there. Don't take it off and on. It'll just lead to some problems, all right? So we got that set up there, and that's where your hopper would connect, okay? So once you've got those gel balls soaked properly, you fill this up, put them there. I'm not gonna be able to shoot this right away, so we're not gonna load it right now, but that's how that would work. We're gonna talk about the battery. It's gonna come with 600 MOS and 0.4 volt battery. It is a four pin connection battery, USB charger, right? Plug this into any AC adapter, one amp or greater. Charge it up, maybe it'll take two hours on a dead battery. This one I believe does the flashing colors and then they go solid when it's full. But either way, about two hours is all it should take. So your battery, charge it up when you get it. It's gonna go right here, pop the door open, and we're gonna pull this out. So this will work for you to plug it in and go battery first. So you watch my videos, you know that I always say, whenever you can, battery first and then the harness, it's going to make it easier to get it out and you're not going to catch the wires on anything when you jam them up into the blaster. So we got them in there, get that shut, and of course they become more pliable the more you use them. All right, we can hear it shooting. So this one, the power button's kind of hidden. It's right here. Here's your power button slash safety. So now we got that turned off. One accessory comes with it, your laser. So we're gonna go ahead and put the laser on. You just pull the tab right here. There's your laser button. That just slides on right here. And it's ready to go. We'll just fill this up, screw it on so that balls don't fall all over and it's ready to play with. Uh, right before I go test it, I want to show you one other version. So this is the same exact blaster from Fervent Toys, just a different colorway, kind of a Day of the Dead uh, HK45 colorway. All right, guys, so check out the demo FPS, or if this is the long video, it'll just automatically play. Again, subscribe, like, tell your friends, participate in the giveaways. Thanks.